And just like that, a new year begins, a new era. Hello, it is Nick Kelly here, and this is my super fun music minute, the first one for 2017. I'm very excited. Um, I hope you had a good New Year's Eve. What did you do? I was DJing till about four o'clock in the morning. Got a bit tiring, but you know, I can't really think of a better way to bring in a new year than playing songs to my friends. Got a few Z's and then I hit up Field Day Festival on New Year's Day in Sydney. Basically, it's in this beautiful place called the Domain. It's like right next to all the skyscrapers of the city. It's a beautiful backdrop. Um, I saw Broods there, Chance the Rapper, um, LDRU, Aluna George, like... <laughs> so many cool pop people and it made me kind of think hey 2017 you're not going to be too bad i feel like the music this year is just going to be super exciting and super fun which brings me to what i want to do today now most of music is still taking a bit of a holiday and i kind of wanted to let all of our favorite music people have a bit of a chill out so i'm not going to do a super fun vibe with someone today instead we're going to have a little bit of fun together me and you and we are going to do a super fun five of the five people that will save music in 2017. Number one, tell me you've heard of this guy called Ewan, right? He's from the Bay Area in San Francisco and stuff uh, in America. I know he's friends with Tide Levi. I think he's friends with a few other kind of YouTube types and the kind of social influencer types. Um, but this kid is making some of the coolest pop music in the world. Last year, he put out an album called Pink Suburbia and basically it was this beautiful, like, dark R&B pop stuff. And it was all with this kind of pink backdrop and everything he wore was pink. He always had pink nail polish on. The aesthetic was important part of it. Then, New Year's Day 2017, he flips it all over to this kind of baby blue look and puts out a brand new song called The Day You Left Me. Cause I am still bleeding from the day you left me Just from that, I know that he's going to be like a massive force this year. He's also one of the nicest guys I've ever spoken to. Watch out for Ewan, a saviour of pop music in 2017. Number two on said list is Ms. Lord. She actually just got announced on the Coachella lineup, and that's going to be her first full show in about three years. This is going to be absolutely massive. Um, and it probably means that new music is going to come out. My sources tell me that we're looking at some time in the next couple of months to get at least a single out there. I'm really, really excited about that. She's been working with like pretty much everyone over the last few years. The third person who will save music in 2017 is from Brisbane, Australia. Her name is Mall Rat. Now we already love her because she kind of writes stuff that relates to young people. Like if you're 17, 18, 19, like she is, and you just kind of feel like a little bit of a misfit, a little bit of an outcast, it's the perfect stuff for you. She's got some really amazing, beautiful new music on the way this year, and I just feel like we're just gonna connect with her even more and more as time goes by. Number four, Dua Lipa. I just heard that her album is probably being pushed back a couple of months, which is like super saddening because originally it was coming out in like August last year, but you can't rush perfection. And that's exactly what she's aiming towards. I watched a documentary last week about the kind of production of Dua Lipa's debut album. And it really looks like she's trying to take control of it and make it her own and make it a really special debut. So I'm excited about that. And every song that's come out so far, we've loved. And I've pretty much put every single one on my super fun music minute. Tonight I'm alive in a dollar sign. Guaranteed I can blow your mind. Mwah. Five, and I reckon this is going to be a huge, huge album for this year. And it's not too far away either, is Miss Zara last and the best person on Twitter, the best pop star on the planet, and finally she'll put out her first ever album very, very soon. I'm so excited for it. As you can tell, like, can you see the glow in my eyes? See the glowing. Music this year is just going to be so exciting, and I'm so excited to keep sharing it with you here on the Super Fun Music Minute on Recon. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Get ready. So many cool songs are on their way. Mwah.